What's good people? It's your boy Franny from Franny.com live from sunny Cyprus in the Mediterranean Sea. I'm on vacation um, but in this video today I want to talk to you. I got asked a question yesterday. Can anyone sing with autotune? Alright, so I hooked up on my boy Lex Noy in this video. I'm going to send, I'm going to give the camera to him um, and let him explain to you and chop it up whether anyone can sing with autotune. Check it out. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Hey yo everybody, what is poppin'? It's your boy Lex Noor coming back at you with another vid, y'all know what it is. Today we're gonna be looking at something interesting, okay? Something that people debate about all the time. Can everybody sing? Can everybody just have auto-tune put on their voice and just automatically become the best singer ever? Well, my answer is yes and no, but it's not... Yes, because you can always fix a voice through auto-tune and pitch correction through these amazing softwares that we have, like this, Logic Pro, it's what I use. But you can never make a voice unique. It's all about how the person actually sings or raps or whatever it is that they're doing. If you're not using enough energy in your voice and you're not actually projecting your voice properly and using your airflow properly to rap or sing or whatever you're doing, then it's not gonna sound great. It'll be on pitch, yes, because we can correct it, but it will never sound that that great. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna sing like a little short verse and I'm gonna try Try my best to sing it on pitch and then I'm gonna sing the same one but I'm gonna try my best to sing it off pitch and then I'm gonna manually fix that myself through my software and show you guys how crazy it is that you can just take the notes that you screwed up and actually shift them up and down to make them on pitch if you guys haven't subscribed make sure to do that before the video starts because you know it's your boy Lex Noor and we out here putting in work and end up we need some support bruh so let's go let's get started all right so here we have some dry vocals this is completely dry all right so I'm going to press play, I'm going to record a little something something, and then I'm going to record again after that and just try to make it as bad as I can. Alright, let's get it, let's get it, we got this, bro. Yeah, you know, oh yeah, you know, that I've been looking for you, yeah, you know. Okay, so that version was on pitch, now I'm going to try to do one and I'm going to try to screw it up completely. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, I've been looking for you. Okay, all right, so now we got two versions. The first one is good. Well, I'd like to think that it's decent, but hey, it's not that horrible. It's on pitch, and that's that's what we're looking for for the first take. So this one's on pitch, somewhat, and then this one is off pitch. So the first thing I'm going to do to make the first one perfect, because it actually, it isn't perfect yet, is I'm going to put the auto-tune plug-in on it. So this is what it is. And it's a D flat. That's what the scale is that I'm singing in. If we listen to it again, you'll hear that it's perfectly on pitch now. You know, oh yeah, you know, that I've been looking for you, yeah, you know. And I'm just gonna add all the other effects because it sounds cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if I wanna bring the autotune sensitivity down, I'm just gonna go like this and it'll still sound on pitch, but you won't get that Quavo and Travis Scott buzzy, like autotune all over the place thing. Straight up. So that's just to make the autotune a little bit weaker. That's it. So now for this take, this one's really, really bad. So the first thing that I'm gonna wanna do for this one is put the autotune, of course. So I'm just gonna add everything else. Again, just for fun because it makes my voice sound way better. So now I'm gonna show you guys how you can just take a really horrible take like this of someone who doesn't know how to sing and make it perfectly on pitch. Now again, like I said in the beginning of the video, you cannot make somebody sing better and with more energy and just make them, like I don't know, sound like Beyonce, but you can always correct their pitch. Anybody can be on pitch, not anybody could sing. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. Oh, oh. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. Yo, okay, well, the first one's messed up. Let's just take. Oh, yeah, you know. Because I was like way off. My voice was way too messed up that it didn't even recognize it and give me like a note to adjust. Okay, I'll probably fast forward this part. So I can even adjust the timings. Yeah, you know. 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 This is really bad. I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, you know. I've been looking. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Anyways, this is this is a really really bad take because I was like going really low and then really high So obviously the more off you are the harder is gonna be to fix it But it is fixable no one can be this terrible like the way I did it. I was trying to be really horrible But even then I was able to actually make it on pitch. So let's take a listen Yeah, you know Yeah, you know I've been looking for you So as you can see it is pretty much on pitch. I was able to fix everything but the tone and the way I'm singing, it's just not good. So that, like I said, you can't fix, but you can always put someone on pitch. So let me bring that back to the original pitch and see how horrible it was before. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, I've been looking for you. Man, okay, well, you know, this is, and the first one. Oh yeah, you know, that I've been looking for you, yeah, you know. Obviously, if you sing it properly from the start without having the audio engineer, the producer, tweak it up for you and auto-tune it, it's always going to sound better. You want to be as close as possible to the pitch. So this is all to say you want to sing the best way possible from the start because clearly when I adjusted everything, it clearly didn't sound as good as the first one, even though it was on pitch. The tone and everything was just horrible. So I hope you guys found this video interesting. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. And I hope that you agree with my opinion. If you don't, if you think, no, uh, anybody could sound great, you just suck, Lex, and you don't know how to do it. There's better audio engineers that can make your voice sound way better. Well, then let me know in the description because I think that it's all about the person being decent and having the right at least tone in their voice for auto-tune to work properly. If you completely suck and you have the worst voice ever, auto-tune on a software sometimes we just won't do it. Just like you guys saw in the second one, it wasn't that great. If you did like the video, make sure you like. And if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, if you want to see some beat making videos, if you want to check out my beats, then make sure to subscribe and stick around for the future and join the Lex Noor. Guys, I hope that helps. I hope that answered any of your questions. Leave a comment below whether you feel anyone can um, sing with auto-tune. If you can, drop a comment below. If you can't, drop a, drop a comment below. Give it a thumbs up and um, share this on your social media and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.